story time of when a grown woman basically just screamed in my face and got super upset with me because I refused to be a butler, maid, and personal chef for her family. Hey Lucky Charms and welcome back to your video and before you get started, this question for a car I think is how you say it. With that being said, if you guys do want to get your GFXs featured in one of my videos, make sure to order with the link in the description. Anyways, so in my last video I talked a bit about my experiences nannying and doing babysitting and I have so many stories and not even funny, but this one also has to do with the same website I mentioned in my last video. Now you don't have to watch the last video to understand this, but basically I was on a babysitting website where basically it would match you with parents in your area that like were a good fit for you and stuff like that you can basically view information about people's families and the kind of babysitting they're looking for and decide if it's a good fit for you and then you could reach out and talk to them through the app now i obviously don't have this app anymore because the amount of like bad interactions i had on it was insane but this particular family was way weirder than any family I've ever interacted with before and honestly it was just super bizarre now one day i'm just kind of scrolling on this app and i get a message from this mom and she, her profile basically shows that she has three young boys and her husband and her work quite a bit so they need a nanny I was like, okay, like I have experience working with lots of kids, so that's fine. But the first thing right off the bat that made me a little bit like red flaggy was that she had three young boys and was barely paying anything for this job. I'm not sure to like place like gender roles or like be like sexist, so that's what you want to call it. But it is, I think, a commonly known thing, especially if you do babysit, that young boys tend to be a lot more hyper than young girls. And from my personal experience, they are a lot more difficult to handle when there's more of them. That's just my experience. Maybe you have a different experience, but I personally, that's been my experience with every young boy that I've ever worked with, is that they are usually super hyper and they like to kind of like egg each other on and they fight quite a bit. Compared to like girls where usually they just kind of want to like sit and chill. So right off the bat, the amount of money she was wanting to pay for this was way below market value and other people would accept for this offer. But I was like, you know what? Maybe she's a nice family. Like, I don't really care. Also important to note, it's not like super personal, so I can say this, but she had three boys, right? One of them was three months old. So three month old baby. One of them was like two and a half or something. And the other one was four years old. So all these kids are super young. And honestly, that's quite a bit of work, especially for like a child to be babysitting these kids, because that seems like a job for like a full grown adult who has like years and years of experience but I digress. So anyways, we start talking, going back and forth. And on this babysitting app thing, you can basically see like these families' expectations. So it will be like, do they want you to drive their kids to like soccer? Or do they want you to make dinner? Or do they want you to do this, 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 whatever? The only thing this woman had checked off was that she wanted childcare. So she just wanted her kids to be taken care of. So honestly, I wasn't like super worried about the price because if it's just childcare, it doesn't have to be that high. But even then, the amount that she was paying was way below what other people were paying me at the time and like rates that I got later on. Anyways, so we talk a little bit. Um, we go back and forth and kind of discuss details and then she asked if I can come over to do a meet and greet. Now typically I wouldn't do like a meet and greet before like meeting somebody over Zoom first. But the thing was this lady lived like a block away from my house at the time. I've moved since but when I lived in my old house she lived like a block away from me and I actually knew what her house looked like because I passed it every day on my way to school. So I wasn't super worried about like meeting this person in person because she lived so close to me that I like wasn't worried about like not being able to find where I was or like not being able to get away because like I know the area and I don't think like some crazy psycho would live here. Maybe I'm dumb, I don't know. But I was just like, okay, yeah, whatever. So after like stalking her Facebook and seeing that she's a real person, I was like, okay, I had to go meet this person in person, meet her kids and kind of go over expectations and stuff like that. Keep in mind at this point, I've not signed a contract. There's like no like, you're gonna work on this particular day. It was just me going over to meet her kids to see if it was a good fit for her and for me. So anyways, it's one day after school, I walk over to her house. And the first thing I noticed is that the front of the house is a complete pigsty. Now I'm not somebody who usually judges like people's cleanliness and stuff like that because even me like my room can be pretty dirty and stuff like that but it was like crazy like there was so much dog poop all over the lawn and there were like toys like thrown everywhere like broken toys over the lawn the lawn hadn't been mowed it was just like a snippet of what i was gonna get when i got inside because as soon as she opened the door when i rang the doorbell it reeked of rotten milk like it was so bad and i understand like if you have a newborn child like it's gonna be hard to like upkeep with like cleaning and stuff in the house but this is important for information later because it plays into the story time so anyways she opens the door i get a giant whiff of like rotting food or rotting milk like it stinks in this house there's toys everywhere there's like food spilt on the ground there's like cheerios that have been stepped on just like they're like mush on the ground now it was honestly just a really disgusting house to be honest like i'm not trying to be rude but it was it was gross um and the kids are running around the two-year-old the four-year-old and the three-year-old is just screaming in his little like crib thing that was on the main floor and so it's chaotic and the thing that was the funniest thing to me was that Typically, if this was like the situation, the mom would be super frazzled and would be like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so sorry. This mom did not care. She was just letting her son just sit there and scream at his crib, like crying. And the worst part about it too was like, I know like some parents would be like, oh, just let the baby cry it out. But like, if your baby's like screaming the way that baby's screaming, I think something's wrong. Like it wasn't a normal baby like crying. It seemed like the baby was distressed. Like you should go check on your baby. So anyways, um, she tells me to come inside, whatever. And I go to sit down. I sit on the couch, which by the way, had so much food in it. It was disgusting anyways. So I sit on the couch and we start talking. And this entire time that we're talking, there's the baby like faintly in the background going, bah! Bah! and like screaming. So like, sometimes I just can't hear her because the baby would stop screaming for like two seconds and then just like let out this really loud screech. 
and she kept getting agitated with me because I couldn't hear her, which that's not my fault. Like, your baby is screaming bloody murder, okay? So anyways, we sit down. And we start talking about, like, her kids' schedules and when she needs me to come over and, like, just kind of, like, stuff about her kids, like, how old they are, their interests, if they have allergies, the basics, right? And then she starts going on about how their current nanny um, does all this other stuff. And she's like, yeah, so we want you to come here, like, an hour before the kids come home from school. And I was like, oh, why is that? And she's like, well, how, when else are you going to make dinner? Excuse me? What? And so I'm kind of like, uh, what do, you, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, well, our last nanny, she made us dinner. I'm like, oh, like dinner for the kids? No, dinner for the entire family. She, she wants me to be their personal chef and to make a five course meal kind of type dinner for both her, her husband and her kids. I'm, I'm a child as well at the time. Keep this, keep this in mind. I'm a minor and she wants me to be her personal chef and a nanny. And then on top of that, as we keep talking, she keeps going on about how their current nanny does lots of extra stuff. Like the current nanny will do their laundry when she's not doing anything. Like she'll just like do the parents' laundry and take their laundry out of the laundry bin and like clean it for them and do the kids' laundry and she'll sweep up and she'll vacuum and she'll wash the floors and she'll do this, she'll do that, whatever. Basically making it sound like they have a live-in professional chef, nanny, and maid all in one. Which, by the way, they are barely paying any money. Like, the amount of money they're offered me, I don't want to say the exact amount, but it was like $5 less than what was like typical for the area. So right off the bat, like, not that great pay. And for all the other jobs she wanted me to do, like, those jobs themselves would charge like $20, $30 an hour. Probably even more, especially if it's like a professional chef. So the stuff she was wanting me to do was just so above the amount that I was supposed to be getting paid. It was ridiculous. And again, I'm a kid. Like, what? And so I kind of questioned her. I'm like, oh, like, I'm sorry. I thought this was like a childcare job. And I was really, like, polite about the way I was saying this because I'm obviously in a stranger's house. I don't want her, like, going to me or something, right? Um, and I'm like, oh, I, I just was, like, a little bit confused because on the babysitting app, it said you're just looking for childcare. You don't have any of these other things checked off, like housekeeping or or like food and stuff like that. And keep in mind, when I nanny, I have no issue making dinner for the kids or cleaning up after the kids, but I'm not doing your 50 year old grown butts underwear in the laundry. Like why do I have to scrub your underwear? Why do I have to like fold your clothes and steam them and put them away? Like that's not my job. You're a grown adult, you can do that. Like what? So anyways, as I start like questioning her and like being polite about it too, she starts getting so angry with me. Like she starts turning red, a vein is popping out of her forehead and she just progressively keeps getting louder and louder. She's like, kids these days, they just don't want to do anything. Like you're so lazy, blah, blah, blah. You just want to go to your phone. You don't actually care about my kids. If you cared about my kids, you wouldn't care about the amount of money you're getting paid because it's a privilege to be around my kids. This whole thing. And I hate it when parents say that like, um, if you really loved your job, if you valued your job, you wouldn't care about how much you're getting paid. What do you mean? Like, obviously, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't getting paid money. Like, you want, you think I just want to sit here and listen to your kids scream for five hours? Like, no. I don't think anybody wants to do that. Would you go to your job and not get paid? No. Like, the weird double standard here is just insane. So, anyway, she starts, like, ringing me out, talking about how kids these days are so lazy, and I'm lazy, and I've never worked a day in my life, which I take offense to, because I've been working since I was nine years old, and I know that sounds weird, but, like, I was doing stuff with, like, my violin since I was, like, super young and making my own money. And, like, my parents, of course, they buy me, like, necessities, like, underwear or toothpaste or toothbrush, right? But I was buying my own clothing since I was, like, nine years old. Like, I would go to, like, stores, like, Lululemon, stuff like that. And I was buying my own sweaters, buying my own pants. Anything that was, like, fancy that I wanted, um, I would have to buy it myself because it was, like, we're buying you the necessities. If you want, like, fancy, cool stuff, you can buy it. And so that's what I did. I would save my money and I'd buy stuff that I really wanted to get, like video game stuff or clothing or jewelry, all that sort of thing, right? And so I really take offense when people say I don't work hard because I think I work really hard and I've worked hard for a long time. Anyways, so I take offense to that. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, like I understand you're frustrated, but I don't really appreciate you like, you know, making assumptions about me. You really don't know a lot about me and I just don't think I'm a good fit for this position. She's like, well, obviously no S word, Sherlock, duh. And she's just like screaming at me and being like, I'm ridiculous and all this. And so I just like get up and I start walking towards the front door and me being dumb, I wear sneakers. So I have to like stop at the front door and untie my laces and try to like put them in my foot as she's like standing over top of me, just screaming at me. Keep in mind, her baby's still screaming in the background and her kids are running around everywhere. Her kids just seem like this is like normal. Like they don't even care that she's screaming at me. They're just like running around acting like nothing's happening. And I'm sitting there trying to tie my shoes as fast as possible. And finally she's yelling at me so loud. I don't even have my other shoe fully on. I just walk out of the house. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Like why are you being so mean? Anyways, after that, she sent like a follow-up email. And I responded to it, obviously because like what like it was like an email like talking about her family I don't know why she even said that to me like really weird So I didn't answer and then she proceeded to send me like a bunch of other emails It was saying like how disrespectful I was and I don't know how to work and all this sort of stuff It was just degrading me like really weird Especially since like this lady like lived so close to my old house It was kind of scary like when I walk home from school I would like purposely like walk an extra block away From where my house was to just like ignore this lady's house and try not to walk past it because I was scared of her Honestly So cruel and the worst part about it too is because this lady like it was pretty obvious that she was like wealthier, but she didn't want to pay an actual like 
professional to do what she wanted them to do. She's just looking for some kid to bully and to underpay for their work. And it sucks because she had a high paying job and it was pretty obvious. And so because she had a high paying job, she thought like she was like the best things in sliced bread and she can mistreat other people, which really sucks when people think that because like, girl, ain't nobody care. Like just treat people fairly. Like what is your problem? Yeah. So anyways, um, long story short, I ignored her email. She sent me several emails and then in like the, I was in like this babysitting group thing. Um, she sent like messages after that group being like, beware of this person. It was like, I don't even know. I was like, girl, I didn't even do anything wrong, whatever. And it was funny too, because my other clients saw the message and actually defended me. We were like, what is your problem? Like, you're so mean. And I told one of my clients about it because she actually knew this lady. Like they were like friends loosely. And they stopped talking after that because she found out how rude this lady was to people who like weren't like as high caliber as her. Anyways, yeah, there's lots of other things to story time, but moral of the story, she scared me. She made me super afraid. And I purposely never walked by her house again until I moved houses um, because I was just scared of her because she's so mean. So that's my funny story time about that. But if you guys made this from video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.